Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So last week I showed you sowing my chilies and this week it's time to give you an update on where those chilies are and what I'm going to do with them and how I'm going to grow them on. So let's get started and have a look. So right behind my curtain again is where I've got my um, propagators. So let's open these back. They've already started germinating. So uh, I've got some here that have germinated. And I've got some more inside the propagator. And what I did was, yesterday I noticed them that actually sprouted. And because I wanted to get it on film, and I didn't set the heat, I didn't set the lights up on overnight. Overnight they've got a little bit leggy. So this is what can happen so quickly, that some of them can get a little bit leggy. And you can see them stretching towards the light. So these need to be under heat under heat lamps really quickly and under some uh, under some lights so that's what I'm going to do today oops look at that so on the probe of the temperature gauge one of the chili plants has actually grown into it so that's a bit of a problem I don't know if that plant's going to make it or not it's okay it's, um, I mean that's a variety I've got plenty of seeds for so we'll stick it back in and see what happens. With the Dorset Naga, there's only been a couple of seeds that have germinated. Um, I think I sowed about five or six. We'll get these under the lights because I, I don't want to waste these two plants that I've got. The ones that haven't germinated, this one was going to take a little bit of time because I've stacked it on top of the other pots. So let's get these back under the into the propagator and get them warming up again so there's a couple of these uh, plants that the seed hasn't take, come off the off the sh off the plant itself so we're just going to help it like that so just remove those seeds there's one here I mean, the, when it's like this it's quite easy to do you can just pull them off and that's fine this one here both of the uh, tips are stuck so let's see if we can just pull this off Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. A nice little bit. I didn't have to get the knives and the operation things out either. You know with me, I always try and keep things simple. And again, with this same light system and this same light cupboard, I'm going to do the same thing again. What I've got is this shoe cupboard. And this is where I grow my plants every year. This is my wife's shoe cupboard. And all we're going to do is I'm going to commandeer her shoe cupboard for the next few months. So we're going to get rid of all of these shoes and then we're going to kit this out and we're going to get all our plants growing in here. Can I help get the shoes out? Yeah, sure you can. Come on. So this is, the time of, this is the time of year that my wife's not best pleased with me because I just take over her stuff. First things first, let's just give it a bit of a clean. Get rid of all this muck that's built up in here. Why is there a rainbow drop there? I don't know why there's a rainbow drop there. Maybe there. it's on someone's shoe. There you go. So we've got some light here. I mean, these are LEDs that I've run for a couple of years. But one of the problems that I'm noticing is that the lights aren't working as well. So, um, I mean, this is a Mars Hydro one. And it's been two years and already you can if I, I'm just going to lift it up so you can have a look it's just going to be quite bright already quite a few of the LEDs have gone so it's a bit of a shame that because it's an expensive unit it's well over 100 pounds and within the space of two years usage half the LEDs no longer light which is quite quite silly that and um, it's quite disappointing actually one of the things about LED lights is they should have something built into it so when um, the when you turn the power on, it warms the LED up slowly instead of putting the charge straight into the bulb, and that makes the bulb last a little bit longer. So that's telling me that this unit hasn't got that sort of thing in it uh, built in, and that's what's caused the burnout on these bulbs. I'm not an electrician by any stretch of the imagination, and that's what, one of the things that I've been told by one. I mean, it's a nice cupboard. Um, it's a nice bit of space that we've got in here. You can get a good few plants in here. Can you get the tin foil, please? Okay. Got the foil. 
Thank you very much. So you should, she's still helping her dad out, even with a broken foot. I'm just going to line the inside of this, and I'm not using anything special, just some ordinary tin foil. Okay. And there's a couple of reasons that I, I'm, I'm lining it. One is so it acts like a mirror and reflects the light, and the other one is to give the wood a little bit of protection, because there's going to be a lot of moisture build up in in here and I don't want to ruin my wife's shoe cupboard and get into more trouble that way. So a little bit of sticky tape to so just get it in place. See you don't have to do anything fancy. Can I have a go at sticking something in? Wait, when you do it, do you have to use foil or can you use something else that's soft? See, a white sheet would be good. A white, you know, white material is good at reflecting light as well. Would the white, would the white cloth be okay? The cloth is not good because of what we're doing. Because it's going to be wet. Okay. Yeah, well, put, put a bit of tape on that. I'm going to reach over. Good man. Yes. Good man. There's some more. Mm. You put one in the middle, put one on this side. Oops. <laughs> so there we go. That's our little glow room. It's all foiled up, it's all wrapped up and it's ready to go. So you can give it a plug in and let's see how it works now. So there you go, it's way brighter than it was. I mean, it's a shame about those lights not working properly. So it's way brighter than it was. Now let's get the plants moved in. So here we go. Get these plants in here. I'm gonna get them under as much direct light as possible. Um, and I'm going to leave them growing in here until they can't grow in here much longer. So what have I got? I've got um, some hot, some red naga, uh, some boot jolokia here, uh, a couple of dorset naga. It's a shame that it's only two plants that have grown. But um, let's see if any more germinate while we're waiting there. And I'll plant some more seeds, some green chilies. Uh, what we've got here and there's some Hungarian hot wax there as well so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run those lights from about 8 o'clock in the morning till about 8 o'clock in the evening roughly so anywhere between 10 and 12 hours a day and because they're LED they're not going to be consuming that huge amounts of electricity like the old grow lights used to um, so it is uh, a lot less than you'd expect but We'll keep them under there and we'll keep them growing on in that compact space. We're not going to separate them out for a long time yet. Not until they've got the true leaves. That's when I'll start separating them out. And you can go and see my old playlist of chili videos. We've got all the way from seed to harvest and you can have a look at what we did there. So now that my propagator's got some space into it, I'm going to plant some more pro uh, chilies into there straight away. I'm definitely going to go for some more dorset naga. Um, I've got some yellow naga to plant. I've got some, um, I planted another six varieties a few days ago. Um, so we've got lots of chilies going on the go and they're, and they're const constantly going to go through that cycle. I'm looking for, I'm really excited about this year. I am, I'm really excited. I mean, this is a really low tech method of making a nice little grow room. Because it's got the doors on, it'll keep the heat in there. You're not going to need additional propagators. It's inside the house. It's plenty warm enough. You're not going to need much in there. When you come, when it comes to watering, give them a little bit of water. Um, in this sort of environment, what I'd do is I'd give them a little bit of water um, early on in the morning, so the water has time to dry through the day. I wouldn't let the pots sit and stand in water for very long. So a little, I mean. Top watering, bottom watering, a lot of people like bottom watering. I like a little bit of top watering personally myself. 
when it comes to chili plants and when it comes to growing under lights as well I like to give it a little bit of top water there's certain plants I do like bottom watering but these are plants that I do actually like top watering I like that surface layer to be get, get a bit of moisture and let it seep through okay. now this used to be my um, achar storage station I used to keep all my achar up here so now a lot of my achar are going to have to move I'm going to have to find it a new place sacrifices you have to do when you're growing plants things we've got shoes all over the place we're going to have achar moving away uh, and we're going to have to probably move it up some of it up into the attic and, and where it's a little bit cooler if you do fancy trying these achar I'll leave my email in the description of this video drop me an email and we can get some of these sent out to you we've got three flavors we've got naga we've got chili and we've got garlic the garlic's just been made fresh today so if you do fancy some we can get some post out to you so there's a quick chilly update for you. I'm going to leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.